Okay, so I have my water sprinkler turned on and this is what I discovered. Houston, we have a problem. What we have here is a geyser shooting up 10 feet high. See that? Let's see. There. That's, so that's over 10 feet high. That's like 12, 15 feet high. And it's a geyser. And so I have to fix this tonight. So this is what you do. I go over here and I turn off my sprinkler. And I'll show you later. You can manually turn off your sprinkler system here. Okay. Or you could just turn it off from the house, disconnect it. And I'll show you the hole. But before we do that, we need a couple tools. Okay, so this is the problem. You see, that's the problem right here. And uh, I guess somebody broke that. And uh, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to dig that off. And uh, we are going to replace that with this. See this thing right here? This goes replaces that. Okay. So to do that, you need a shovel. This is a digging shovel. Okay. So, let's see. And you can start digging around the base here. Okay. careful not to uh, damage any more than you, you have to. So, basically, all right. I don't want to damage that pipe right there because there's a plastic pipe there. Right. So you gotta be careful when you're digging around it. You know. Huh? Okay. Okay. Here. So I have to. Okay, so I've dug around this area right here, and uh, so you see here, you have to be careful you don't want to hit that pipe right here, okay? Normally, people want you to use a pipe wrench to unscrew this part off, but what I do, I just use the vice grip. Okay, so I use this vice grip and I grip that, and I turn this over this and it just comes out you don't have to hire somebody to do this then you put this thing back in the new thing screw in the new thing here and it's fixed see you don't have to wear you don't have to <coughs> have a landscaper come and fix this you can do it yourself Okay, that's good for me. What I'm going to do is, because obviously there's some sand or dirt that has fallen into this, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go turn on the water so that whatever's in here will shoot out. See this little thing right here? Right here? That's a little filter. It filters out uh, dirt so that it won't clog the jets here. Okay, so, 
and it's important to know how to aim the nuzzle here. Okay, the nuz this is the nuzzle here. Okay. So as you can see, I turn on the water so that the uh, the water will blow out all the dirt. And so I'm gonna go turn off the water again. Okay. So <clears throat> as you can see, I purge the line there. So I'm gonna screw this thing back in. So now it's ready to go. But if you can see here, I have to uh let's see. Know exactly where the nuzzle is because okay, if you look at here, it's an adjustable nuzzle, so I know that that's where the nuzzle is. So it's aiming this way. So what I have to do now is I have to make it so that it'll turn that way. So how to do that? Use my little handy dandy vice grip and Okay, so I'm going to go turn on the water, and I'm going to test out where the water is spraying. And that's exactly where I want it to go. I find it to fit. Okay, hold on. There you go. That's where I want it to go. It's going that way. That's good. Yeah, that's good. All right. So then I have that fixed. So the dirt comes back to the same spot. So if you know how to do this, you save yourself a lot of money. This thing costs about two bucks or three bucks at the hardware store to replace. If you have a heavy man out, you'll probably go about 50 to 80 bucks if you do this, if you have somebody to come and do this. 
right, or a contractor, probably costs about eh, anywhere from 80 bucks to 125 bucks just to do that little thing right here. So it's good. So all you need is a shovel and a little and a, a couple hand tools. And it's good.